Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David, and today let's finish up looking at Boba Fett's shin tools. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. You probably know I am putting together a Boba Fett costume, hopefully to submit it to the 501st. Now, I would be a little remiss to say that I'm building it I'm more uh, assembling the parts, right? I am doing very little as far as actual crafting because Boba Fett is really difficult and I'm kind of leaving this to the masters. Uh, there are people that already have the molds, they already know how to paint it, and so I want it to look perfect. I want it to look perfect and there's, gonna be, there's people out there that can do this so much faster than me. Case in point, the shin tools, I did not know it would be this much of a headache. I probably, should have just bought them pre-done. I, I thought, you know what, they're simple enough, I can probably paint these. Um, I painted two. I painted two and I painted the two easiest ones. And then uh, the other two gave me a little bit of difficulty. So, just to recap, I purchased two shin tools from Man of War and two from Boba Maker. Now the two I purchased from Boba Maker came in recently with my armor shipment and I also had him paint them, which was great because I was just having too much trouble. The other two that I got from Man of War, I painted. And they're fine, you know, they're fine. <laughs> but I wanted to put all four of them together and show them to you real quick. And just to do a little refresher, I have one of these Boba Fett cardboard cutouts in my room. And uh, ironically, he is pre-production. So his gloves, gauntlets, all this stuff, uh, the costume changed drastically since this was photographed, but this is the one they made the stand-up for. You can see all four shin tools in his leg pockets right there. And so those are the four tools that we are trying to replicate. And here we are. These are the four shin tools and they are completed and ready to go. So the two over here, these are the ones from Man of War and these are the two from Boba Maker. And respectively, uh, this is sometimes called the vibro knife or the survival knife. And these are supposedly weight saving cutouts. <laughs> and then it has this flanged stabinium alloy blade. So this is, uh, it's actually one of my favorites and it was made from the top of a paint stirrer. This is the jetpack adjustment tool have no idea um, how this would work, but uh, there are some that uh, make something that looks similar to this. Uh, there's even some that uh, theirs looks more like a hollowed out flashlight. Those two, like I said, those are the easiest to paint. This right here is the anti-security blade. And depending on if you're Empire or Return of the Jedi, you'd put it in your outfit one way or the other. This big black piece is supposed to be the vibro plate, and these are the setting and intensity controls. What I really love about this is you can see that there's dimension right there, yeah? Here and here. These black pieces, they're not just tape, they're actually three-dimensionally sculpted. So there's a lot going on here, and uh, the thing I didn't have with the Man of War Studios is the gnarling on this. So having the two uh, gnarling ends the little holes right there, that really makes this uh, piece come together. And then lastly, the everybody's favorite, the sonic beam weapon. So this was made from a squeegee back in the day. And as you can see, it's got the black and red stripe. And then on this side, it has that complicated black stripe that I was fretting to paint. So these are the four props. Um, I, like, I, I think I already tipped it off. I already gave it away. The Sonic Beam Weapon, of course, is my favorite. These two were probably my favorite growing up as a kid. I always wanted to have these, uh, regardless of even having the costume. I just, they were so far down in the pocket. Nobody knew what they were. They were just peeking out of the top and you were, you know, coming up with all these guesses like, what are they? What do they look like? What does Boba Fett use them for? Even as uh, Return of the Jedi, I'm only supposed to, um, I think, I, I think I'm supposed to only have two of these out of the four. So it's gonna be really tough 
for me to uh, limit myself to just two because I actually uh, love all four of these. Which one of these tools is your favorite? Post that down below. All right, that's everything. That is everything. And we're gonna get to all the rest, right? We're gonna get to uh, the chest armor. I'm gonna show you the, the gauntlets. We're gonna walk through uh, the new paint job that I've gotta do to the blaster and hopefully start to pay off the jetpack so I can get this all put together. I think when I first started the Shintul video, the first video, I said that it'd be great to have the costume done by Halloween of 2024. That's, that's not gonna happen. The, the jetpack's not even started yet. So we're, we're looking at the middle of 2025. He's, Boba expensive. He is, he's expensive and you know, I'm just, I'm going slow, chipping at it, just a little piece at a time, but it's gonna be worth it. Thanks for watching guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time, bye.